What ways do you keep God first during hard times? Hmm. Constant communication with God. You mean prayer? Yes. Prayer, communication, same thing. Same thing. So, not only that, listening. We talk a lot. Y'all know how we humans are. We talk we too talk much. A we, lot. We talk, we talk too much. Too much. Mm. And we, we never, never share. I, I said, said we, we talk too, too much. much. I said we did. never share. Mm -mm. So a lot of times we have been praying and praying and talking and talking and telling God everything, but we ain't yet shut up to hear. Sometimes our prayers are not even praying. And then, not only that, when we pray, <laughs> we pray with this sense of thinking that we know what we're supposed to be praying about. So we talk, talk, talk. And I have, and this is how I keep God first. God, let your will be done. Absolutely. When we continue to pray, God let your will be done, it takes our will and our hands off of it. Amen. So instead of us being the first one, we're allowing him to be the first one. Instead of us doing the stuff that we feel like we should be doing, we're allowing him to do it. A lot of times we get into these long, pretty, eloquent prayers. And y'all be trying to, you be trying to, Y'all, we find the more fancy she, words. Yeah, trying try to find to, the fancy words. Yeah, we try to pray down fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know how yeah. they say you try to pray yeah. down fire. Yeah. But if we just be simple. Serving God and allowing God to be first is so simple. We have made it hard. Religion has made it hard, but it's not hard. You think God wants it to be hard for his children to put him first so that he can be glorified? No. So that's how I keep God first. Just making sure that I continue to say, okay, God, let your will be done. Let me take my hand off of it. Let your will be done. No matter what it's about. My marriage, my child, Marshall, my business, relationships, friendships, whatever the case may be, ships. God, let your will be done in this relationship. God, let your will be done in this, in this job. Let your will be done in this business. And I've noticed when things happen, now you also got to understand when we pray that prayer, We've got to be willing to accept whatever his will is. A lot of times you want to pray and we think it has to be the good parts of his will. But what if his will is for you to lose your job? But you pray, God let your will be done. What if, God, what if God's will is for you to break up that relationship? God let your will be done in this relationship. You're thinking one thing. On the good side. Yeah, and it's God gonna is like. It's going to be the way that you want it to be. Right. Yeah. He was like, okay, let my will be done. Thank you. Y'all done broke up. Mm. God. So even praying that prayer can be a little fearful. It can be a little scary. <laughs> because nine times out of ten, mm -hmm. it's not your will, it's his. Mm -hmm. And his is not always pretty and silver and gold. Mm. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know that, okay, God, I had no control over this. I could not manipulate this. I didn't do anything wrong. So it's not a consequence because it wasn't a sin. This happened because you allowed it to happen for whatever reason. Protection, to bless me later, you got something better for me. It's God's will. That's how I let him continue to be first in my life, allowing his will to be done. That's him being first in my life. Sorry, y'all, that was a long answer. Yeah, but basically the whole, in a nutshell, what she just said, God let your will be done. That's how you stay focused in times that is going on now. God let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <laughs> um, yep, God not only broke the relationship up, he told me he wasn't a part of it. There you go. There you go. There, there you go. go. When you do that, I'm telling you, I mean, let me just say this too also. When you make a habit from your heart to say in prayer, prayer, Lord, let your will be done. It really starts to set you up with what God will wants to be, what God wants his will to be in your life. And then everything will start transpiring. 
Instead of you trying to navigate through life on what God will is, or trying to find out what trying God will is, yeah. or trying to figure it out what God will is, or you know, you thinking that you know what God will is, but you don't know what God will is. So you're getting into a habit of saying that and meaning that from your heart. It will start lining you up with what God will is truly what he really wants your life to be.